Hey everybody, so today we're doing our Sword and Shield booster box and card market update video for the month of June to start with uh, Sword and Shield base set. Looks like it's actually on the move, so you know, mid-May it was around 275, now it's up to around 285, and if we look at most recent sales, May 17th, 285, June 1st, 393.98, and June 13th, 350 dollars. So it seemingly is selling uh, above its uh, TCG market value and on the way up. Next up, we have Rebel Clash, which is uh, apparently coming down. But again, these boxes don't sell too much on TCG Player, so it's it's hard to get very accurate data. Um, if you if we look at most recent sales, May thirty first, two hundred seven twenty nine, and then June third, two fourteen ninety nine. So there you go. And then I'm assuming June fifth. This is just like a loose sleep boosters or something like that at one sixty. Next up, we have Darkness of Blaze. This is actually on the way up. So a month ago, mid May, it was around one hundred thirty nine dollars. Now it's sitting around 145. If we look at most recent sales, June 4th and 5th, we had sales around 140. Again, this might be sleep boosters. June 9th, uh, one for 153.98. It's almost $154. Darkness Ablaze even is on the way up. Then we have Vivid Voltage. This one's, you know, moved down about a percentage point or two. Nothing major. Most recent sales, June 13th at 133 and June 14th, basically at 133 as well, 132.98 there. Then we have Battle Styles, which we catch the tail end of its big move from selling out on the Pokemon Center this month. But it seems like it's, you know, kind of leveling off around that mid-130s mark. If we look at most recent sales, June 6th, $139.99, June 7th, $125, and then June 12th, $133. So somewhere between $130 and $140 Battle Styles currently. Uh, Chilling Rain made a big move this month. Started mid-May around $214. Now it's up to around $230. Most recent sales, June 11th, 228.98 and 227.93. It does seem like it's flattening out here, but who knows? We'll we'll take a look again in another month and see what's going on there. Evolving Skies, again, not too much happening here either. It was kind of up and down, but again, not too many sales. Most recent sales, however, are over $700, though, so that's definitely a good sign. Uh, June 14th, which is today. Uh, two sales of two quantity at 704.45, so people might be buying up Evolving Skies again. Fusion Strike, uh, this one's kind of going up and down a little bit too. Started the month around 237, now it's sitting around 236, so really not too much going on there. Uh, June 14th, most recent sale, which was today, 238.50, so you know, between 235, 240. I kind of expected a lot of these boxes to go sideways, so none of this is too surprising. Brilliant Stars, this one obviously we caught the peak of its run up, uh, you know, the, the end of it in this month up to around $195. It's come back down to around $190. If we look at most recent sales, a lot from yesterday, all at around $183.20, uh, including a five quantity yesterday at $183.21. That's pretty interesting. Uh, if we move on to Astral Radiance now, this one hasn't done too much over the month either. Uh, but if we look at most recent sales, June 7th, 184.98, 184.50 the next day, and then June 12th, 184.99. So about $185 box consistently at this point is Astral Radiance. Lost Origin has uh, taken a downturn. Uh, this probably comes off the back of, you know, some distros getting some small, some small restocks. Uh, it was up to around $225, $230. We're down to around 205 at this point. We look at most recent sales. A couple from yesterday, June 13th, 204.97, and then today at 204.98. So $205 box there. Silver Tempest is still climbing. This is, again, the only set left in stock on the Pokemon Center right here. You can buy four quantity in the US and Canada. Started the month around 157. We're up to around 167 now. Most recent sales, June 11th, 166.99 and June 13th at $164. Before we go any further, guys, I just wanted to jump in here and say 65.3% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. Uh, I did say if we get to 5K before the end of the year, I am going to crack a Silver Tempest booster box and give away the hit. So if you want to be part of that, just make sure to subscribe to the channel. If we get there, that'll be, it'll be really exciting to do that. So yeah, if we get there, you know, we'll do it. If not, uh, you know, tough luck, I guess, for you guys. And I'll keep the packs, but <laughs> yeah, moving into the cards now. Uh, Snorlax VMAX, the rainbow from Sword and Shield base set. This one obviously had its uptick at, uh, you know, the start of this month, or, you know, to, towards the end of May, rather, but the start of this 30-day period. Uh, it, it is kind of flattening out around the $50 mark at this point. Most recent sales, June 9th, 
$46, June 11th, $44, and then June 13th at $46 as well. Next up, we have the Chonka Chew from Vivid Voltage. Again, I'm just picking cards that are actually making moves and doing interesting things. I figure it's good to point them out. Started the month around $110. It's up to around $130 now, so a really big move, well over 10%. Does seem like it's flattening out at this point. Most recent sales, June 13th, uh, two of them, 128.74 and 121.99. So over $120 card is the Chonkachu at this point. Very interesting. Uh, the Tyranitar from Battle Styles is moving up as well. Started the month or you know 30-day period around $155, up to around $190 now. So over a 20% move, absolutely crazy. Uh, most recent sales, June 12th, 160.77. June 13th, two sales yesterday, $195. And then a lightly played Hall of Foil for 135.08. So insane that the Tyrantar is continuing to move up. Maybe this will be the next $200 alternate art in Sword and Shield. The Urshifu VMAX from Battle Styles is moving as well. Started the 30-day window around $58, $59, up to around $75 now. Uh, but most recent sales are around that $60 mark, so June 11th. $62, June 12, $60, June 13, $60. So, you know, in essence, the graph has run up, but it really looks like we're still sitting around that $60 mark. Uh, the Blaziken VMAX from Chilling Rain, this one has given back some of its gains. Obviously, it was we were catching part of the run up over these past 30 days. It was up over $400. We're now down to around $380. Most recent sales uh, near Mint Hollow Foils, $175.97 and $335.99. So it seems like it's a lot lower uh, than current market value. But uh, yeah, I mean, this was a $400 card at one point, which is insane. Speaking of cards losing value, the Umbreon VMAX over the past month, it was up to around $950. We're now down below $900 at this point, but most recent sales are still around that $900 point. So yesterday, June uh, 13th, 90401 and then $900 exactly. So it has lost about a $50 valuation over the past 30 days or so. More cards are pulling back as well, like the Rayquaza VMAX, or not the Rayquaza VMAX, well, you know, I guess if you look, it was up to around $540. Um, I, I thought this was going to be another card in this order. But yeah, $540. We're now sitting around $500. Most recent sales, though, are around $400 uh, on TCG Player. Uh, pretty interesting there. But uh, uh, the cards I wanted to get to, the Gengar VMAX, this card is losing a lot of value. It was over $400 as well at one point. It's now down to around $350. Most recent sales, uh, $309.99 and $325 near mint hollow foil today uh the espion has basically caught the gengar which i wanted to talk talk about in this video i think it's just absolutely insane this thing has moved up from around 200 dollars uh, a month ago up to around 350 if we look at a six month chart on this like just insane this was a 120 dollar card at the start of the year you, you basically 3x your money if you bought this card in december um and if we look at most recent sales again yesterday 350 dollars couple sales so it is selling for that at this point. Absolutely insane, the Espeon. Uh, Charizard has given back a little bit from Brilliant Stars, which is up to around $200. Now down to around $175, most recent sales in that $170, $175 range. So pulling back a bit, not surprising on some of these cards. The Machamp still looks like it's heading upwards. Uh, it was $155 around 30 days ago. It's now up to $192.88. So this and the Tyranitar are basically fighting to get into that $200 category at this point. Most recent sales... Uh, June 11th, couple sales, 176.71, 190.95, and then uh, yesterday at 182.02. Then we have a couple more. The Giratina, this one has given back a lot of gains as well. It was up to almost $500 in that 480 range. It's now down to around 450, but most recent sales uh, near mint hollow foils today, $380, $390. I'm not sure if these are Japanese sales. Yesterday, I lightly played hollow foil as well for $315. And then finally, the Lugia from Silver Tempest. This one's, you know, slightly been moving up over the past month or so, so it was around $210, now up to around $215, $220. Uh, it was up to around $230 apparently at one point, you know, a couple weeks ago. Uh, most recent sales from yesterday, three of them, near mint hollow foils, all of them, $204.75, $203.30, and $218.60. So somewhere between that, you know, $205 and $220 range, this Lugia is sitting. Kind of surprising this one's not a bit higher. I really like this artwork, but again, that might just be my bias showing. Uh, I think the biggest takeaways from this month are probably going to be that the Gengar is losing a lot of value. We actually should keep our eye on if the Espeon overtakes it at some point, which wouldn't surprise me at the rate this is going, but you know, I can't imagine this is going to go much higher. I mean, it's basically 2x in the past month, maybe a little bit less, but 
uh, in a six month period, it's basically 3x, which is just absolutely insane. But keep an eye, the Espeon might become the top hit in the set at some point. Uh, other than that, I thought it was really interesting that Darkness of Blaze is actually slowly moving up as well. And, uh, you know, a lot of these other sets, like, you know, Brilliant Stars moving down a tiny bit, Astral Radiance staying flat, Lost Origin losing a bit. Uh, Silver Tempest obviously is still not out of stock on the Pokemon Center, so it's not surprising that it's still moving up a little bit. We're going to have to keep our eye on it. If it does eventually sell out, I will be updating you guys. Um, but that's going to be all for this week. I think that's, uh, you know, that covers everything for the month of uh, June so far. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are investing in any of this stuff. Again, thank you so much for supporting the channel, whether you're leaving likes and comments, whether you're using the affiliate links. Uh, if you're a member on the channel, there's a couple of you guys now, so I appreciate you all being here. Uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you in the next one.